I really believe that people have a problem with gravity in ships from no reason. It's just so obvious and logical that ships have gravity, at least most of the time. I'm gonna explain it all today, well not all, just the concepts behind it. Okay, so there are three main ways to how can ships have gravity in Star Wars. Note that these are real concepts that do theoretically work and even practically. Also there is something called gravity generator and other technology like that that exists in Star Wars but today we're not talking about that. Today we're gonna just talk about the very obvious concepts on how ships have gravity. Okay so let's begin with the first way ships have gravity and that is obviously they are near planets. As I'm sure you know planets generate gravity. Now obviously this gravity does affect even the stuff in space. That's how meteors fall to planets for example, they're dragged into the planet long before actually entering the atmosphere and all that. So we mostly at least in movies see ships kinda hovering in the space near the planet. Now you may notice that these ships are almost always turned exactly so the gravity of the planet affects the ship properly. That's one of the reasons why ships aren't upside down in relations to the planets by the way. So if the ship is near the planet it can use planet's gravity on itself. Kinda. Now some of you may be thinking like well yeah but the gravity is noticeably smaller if you are so much further away from the planet. And yeah that's kinda the truth. But International Space Station for example is quite far away from the surface of the earth and has very very similar gravitation to earth. But wait, I thought that there is no gravity on the International Space Station. Oh, there certainly is. The reason why it seems that there is no gravity on the space station is because the station is kind of free falling. That's why it seems that there is no gravity. Just wanted to clear that out. Okay, what about when ships aren't near the planets? Well, there is pretty simple solution for when ships are in the open space and there is basically nowhere to get gravity from. Think about it, gravitational acceleration force needed for most humanoid species is around 10 meters per second. So if the ship is moving around 10 meters per second and up if there is up in space, then we have something like artificial gravity almost. Basically if ship is going so called up, it will press forces on people inside the same way gravity would affect them on planet. Ok now there is a third way to make gravity if I can say it like that but this method isn't the most commonly used as it does limit the space and shape quite a bit. This method is basically a giant centrifuge. Some space stations work like that, like axis station. It basically works on a simple principle that if you spin something around it generates a force from in and out. So the space station didn't need any energy, they just spinned in space and created centrifugal energy. And that is not just some Star Wars shit, that is probably how we are probably gonna make first real inhabited space stations. Ok so yeah these are basically three main ways they got gravity on ships. First they were near planets, second they moved up so to say to create a force working at people just like how gravity does and third they used a giant centrifuge in space basically. Ok now I didn't include anything that would explain how does gravity in hyperspace work because that is something completely else and works completely differently. But I may make a video about that in future and who knows if this video is a few months old it might already be out. But yeah that's it for today. Let me know if you were bothered that some of the clips weren't really Star Wars related. I think that I'm honestly making too many scientific videos and too little actual lore videos but these are stuff that I always wondered about and I believe that there will be people that will appreciate them. But yeah, see ya.